Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at properties of isosceles triangles. I want to prove the statement, if a triangle is isosceles, then its base angles are congruent. So to help us with this proof, we can consult this diagram of some general triangle ABC. And we can start off by assuming that triangle ABC is isosceles. So we assume triangle ABC is isosceles. And now what that allows us to do, we could choose two sides to be congruent because by definition, a, an isosceles triangle has a pair of congruent sides. So we could let side AB be congruent to side BC. So now the next step is going to be to construct an altitude from vertex B to side AC. And now remember, by definition, an altitude goes through one of the vertices of a triangle and is perpendicular to the side opposite that vertex. So let's say that this altitude intersects the side AC at point E. And we know by definition that this is going to form 90 degree angles when BE intersects AC. So now we could write construct altitude BE and from here it follows that the measure of angle AEB equals 90 degrees and the measure of angle CEB also equals 90 degrees. Remember this comes directly from the definition of an altitude. So now from here we need to state, even though it may be obvious, when we construct this altitude we create two right triangles because these two triangles here both contain 90 degree angles. This allows us to say that triangle AEB and triangle CEB are right triangles. And why they both contain right angles. Okay, so now the next step we could say that line segment BE is congruent to itself. This seems really obvious, but this is critical for proving that these two triangles are congruent. So we say that line segment BE is congruent to line segment BE by the reflexive property of equality. So reflexive property. Which, if we think about the reflexive property, all it states is that some line segment or some figure is congruent to itself. But now, what does this allow us to say? Well, we have two right triangles, and they share the same hypotenuse, and they share the same leg. So this allows us to say that triangle AEB, which is here, is congruent to triangle CEB, which is the right triangle right next to it. So these two triangles are congruent, and the reasoning for this, I'll just abbreviate the hypotenuse leg condition for triangle congruency. So when we're doing triangle proofs, when we have a right triangle, it's a special case where we don't need to use the side-side-side condition for triangle congruency. It's sufficient enough to say that if they share a, con uh, a common leg and a common hypotenuse, then those two right triangles are congruent. And the quick explanation for why is because if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we could reason that this side and this side is that line segment AE is congruent to EC, and that would give us the side-side-side condition for triangle congruency. So now that we know these two triangles are congruent, we could say that angle BAE is congruent to angle BCE. So we have angle BCE. And the reasoning why these two angles are congruent, well, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. 
So we have corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And most teachers, when they write this reason down, they'll abbreviate it with CPCTC, which is just abbreviating this fact here. So this allows us, like we just said before, angle BAE, which is here, and angle, I'm sorry, angle BAE and angle BCE are congruent because they're parts, they're corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So using triangle proofs and showing that these two right triangles are congruent allows us to target these two base angles and show that they're corresponding parts of congruent triangles, thus they are congruent to each other. But this proves exactly what we were trying to show in this statement. We have some isosceles triangle and we show that the base angles of this isosceles triangle are in fact congruent. Okay, well this is going to conclude this proof of this properties of isosceles triangle statement. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.